it into the makeup I actually can't see myself so let me just move my mirror there we go so if I'm looking over there that's where my mirror is I feel embarrassed that I'm on camera with my acne but I can't help it so I might as well just embrace it right um I'm trying to help it like I've got like I've been really invested in skincare things like that but I'll just need to talk about this while I'm getting ready. So I've already put my moisturiser on and stuff. Um, and I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Flawless Filter. Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in the shade 4. Um, I'm trying to eat really healthy because I know diet doesn't help acne. But I've been suffering with this for a couple of years now. And it's like on and off. It goes through waves. Um, but at the minute it's quite constant. But then I don't know whether that's because there's a lot of changes going on in my life. Like there's a bit of stress. Um, whether that isn't helping the situation, you know. So, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I say um, a lot, so just prepare for that. And I don't uh, <laughs> I don't wear a foundation usually, unless my skin's not covering. So I usually put a concealer over my spots and just the Charlotte Tilbury. So we'll see how that works. Out. Sometimes my skin just doesn't want to cover, and then I do put a little bit of a foundation over the top, I can't lie. But it's just whatever makes you feel comfortable. But I try to put as little on, like, because um, if you don't follow me on Instagram... I'm currently in isolation at the moment. It's Thursday the 6th of January. So we've been in since isolation since like the 30th, 29th of January, something like that. Um, so yeah, that's really fun. Um, but the line is getting thinner and thinner. So we're nearly out. We're nearly on for a negative, which is amazing. It feels like I've been in this house 7,000 days in a row. Um... But yeah, anyway, on about back to my acne. I think it started on in like 2019 or 18 even possibly. Um, and it just came out of nowhere. I had a lot of things going on that I think could have triggered it. Um, and then it hasn't really settled. So I don't like it, obviously. Like I, I hate having it, but then I can't get rid of it. The only way, I've been offered Accutane, but I'm a bit nervous to take it. Because if you followed me previously on my joint channel... I um, had a really bad experience with contraception. So I don't really want to go back on because I've never found one that like agreed with my body. And then when I did, didn't like just stuff happened. So I don't really want to go back on to contraception. If I can help it, I would much rather stay off it and try and heal this naturally because I'm just going to... I'm trying to like invest in the skincare, like do as much like makeup free days as I can. I drink, I've been drinking, um, I've been trying to stay off the dairy and I've like changed. So I've been since January, I mean, obviously, like, this is why I don't think it'll come into effect yet, but I'm trying to, trying to eat really healthy, like trying to stay away from like you know, like takeaway food and like fake foods and like processed foods and see if that can help me. But if not, we might have to consider something because I've been on a cream, I've been on Lymocycline, I've been on a Dapaline, I've been on Doxycycline, I've been on all sorts of stupid medication that's done piss all. And the next, that's what the next best thing they offered me was, is it Accutane or Roaccutane? Accutane, I'm not sure. But like I said, not feeling that. I'm not feeling the vibe. Is this snowman? Um, oh my god, it's actually snowing. I think it's hail, maybe not snow, but that's so cool. But it's been raining, so it won't stick. Um, my concealer's running out, which is lovely, but I obviously can't go out and get any more, so I might have to put a little bit of foundation on here. Um, I'm gonna leave that to try and like sink into my skin and then put my cream contour on. But anyway, moving away from the acne situation, don't really know how we got into it, but it's fine. So I'm gonna go in with the. Oh, actually, one sec. I just picked up my foundation in case we do. Am I going to need it? I feel like I might. I don't really want to wear it. It's hard to embrace the bumps, guys. But when I do wear foundation, this is one of my favourites. It's got SPF 50. It's never broke me out. And it's the Maybelline Urban Decay cover thing. Anyway, look how cute this is. I got an UD and it's a friend's one. And I swear to God, this is the most comfortable thing I've ever worn in my life. I'm obsessed with them. I want about seven more. Um. Anyway. Let's talk about, so my right, main reason was obviously to show you my makeup routine, but I wanted to talk about like goals and things like that. So my 2022 goals is 
basically to just thrive like I've launched a business end of last year launched a business and I want to make that my like full occupation if you like I want to have that as my main focus because like I find it hard with a full-time job as well you know doing doing that doing my like job at work and then social media social media I absolutely love and obviously like my TikTok has grown a little bit since um like you know since I started like I'm nearly at 50k which is amazing like I'm really proud of myself but I know that isn't where I want to stop like I want to grow as much as I can like I absolutely love posting on social media like and it's so nice like my best friend Jodie she also loves it and it's so nice that we can do it together and like we plan instagram content together and it's so nice like if one of us isn't feeling very motivated we've got the other one to be like no come on we've got this which is really really nice so i'd love like my dream would be for social media to be my job but i understand like you need a lot of time to put effort into that too and obviously i don't always have that time um, with working and like I finish you know I've got a full-time job I finish work and it's dark like that's not the best time for content and things like that so that's the situation with that really um another goal is to like change my lifestyle completely and just be healthy like no more midweek mackies like enjoy it if there's an occasion but self-discipline is going to be massive for me this year like I really want to teach myself like no you will eat healthy and you'll deserve a mackies like like me and Dan like with we're, we're like the McDonald's kids up, like we love eating unhealthy, but we're both like we've both got big fitness goals and we enjoy the gym. But like obviously fitness and um eating go hand in hand. So it's not very helpful when we're eating Mackeys in the week, even though we've just done a killer leg workout and we can barely walk. So that that is something I really want to change. Like fitness be a lifestyle, not just a hobby. Like I eat healthy, like no matter what. It's so I've been doing that really. That's we've been. Well, I say doing that. We've been doing that since um, the first of January. Obviously, it's only the what did I say? It was the sixth, seventh, eighth, sixth. Um, so that hasn't obviously been a long term thing. But I'm going to make sure it stays like that. And then one night a week, which is going to be a Saturday, we're going to treat ourselves. We can have whatever food we want. Uh, but then like. What we were doing is like we'll be like, yeah, we'll be good for the week. We weren't really. Um and then we'd go straight back to a Mackey's and then but we would binge. We'd be like having a Mackey's and then we'd have Starbucks breakfast and then we'd have a meal for lunch and then Sunday we'd have like McDonald's breakfast and then a roast. Whereas like it needs to be like, no, you have your McDonald's meal and then that's that. And like I'm don't know whether we all like that us out have a roast on a Sunday, I'm not hundred percent sure. But that's the that's the plan of attack, attack for that. And then like just really like reach some goals in the gym. Like see, look, I've never, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I've never seen stuck at like fitness long enough to see a change. And that's what I'm craving. Like I want to see a big change. Sorry, Jodie's, um, Jodie's had my camera the last few days because I've been waiting to film this, but um, she needed the camera because hers has been in for repair and hers is finally fixed. It was, fixed. It was amazing. Oh my God, guys, it's from snowing. By the way, COVID bags are really a thing. Like, I cannot get rid of these little bags under my eyes, I tell you. See, they're the ones that struggle to cover. They look like a freaking bruise on my face. Um, but, I don't know. I might just put a blob of foundation over them. So I just feel a bit insecure today. Um, and then, again, like, that's another thing that comes with, like, being healthy. Like, also just want to be confident. Like, I want to be, wear what I want, want to, like, not worry about what I look like, blah, blah, blah. So that's a massive goal for me. And then, also, obviously, like, I want to, I'm going to, I want a certain amount of money in my savings. I want to, like, achieve money goals. And also, my car's up for um, renewal at the end of the year. I would love to have a new car and smash that. Um, I want a bigger, I want a better car. Um, what else? I want to reach like m m milestones on YouTube, TikTok, like I've just hit 2k. But like, I haven't ever like put my all into YouTube, I would say. Like, I did at the start, but then like now when I should be putting my all in, um, I haven't because I've been gone from like a, a joint channel to my own and blah blah blah, all of it all over the place. 
but I'm here, I'm here to smash it. That is my goal, that's what I wanna do and I'm gonna put my all in. Like I've never 100% known what I wanted to do and I do know now and I know that it's not gonna happen overnight so I need to smash it. Um, also, just for reference, I use the Refi um, bronzer in tan and then I'm gonna use the blush in citrine. I did have the rose one but I got this one for Christmas so I'm gonna use that one. I'm not sure which one I prefer yet. The citrine one is a lot more orange. More like kind of blends with your bronzer. If you can see. Can you see that? I don't know if I need to zoom you in a little bit. Is that any better? Um, so I just dab that on there and then my nose. And can you see it's quite, quite orangey? And then I just blend that in with my foundation brush. I really need to get better at br washing my brushes. I'm rubbish at washing, rubbish at washing my brushes. So bad. Um, so yeah, I just blend that in. And then the gloss highlighter from Refi is literally amazing. It's so nice. And see, it just blends, but you can still like off flush your color. And then this is the gloss highlighter, and it's only in one shade, but that's what it looks like. And and just dab on my nose and up my mouth and then I'm just going to blend that in and it melts straight into the skin which is why I really like it um, and yeah and, but the only thing I think about new year I feel like there's a lot of pressure on a new year like new year we've got to be brand new we've got to be fresh but like realistically it was like the same day a few days ago like the same it's like only changed the year like it hasn't changed the I think it's a good time to reflect and like reset but I, d I do think there's an unrealistic pressure to change your life in one day. Like, December 31st, you're a bad person. January 1st, you're not. Um, so, yeah, I do think it sometimes it is a little bit unrealistic. But I'm going to go in with the number 7 powder, flawless finishing powder in translucent. And this is such a big dupe for, like, the Charlotte Tilbury and the Laura, Laura Mercier one. Honestly, so good. I have to be, like, one of my big, big, big goals is, like, to just be fully self-employed. Like, I do not thrive in a <coughs> in a work environment like I don't like doing working for other people like I want to have I want to be successful I want to have like you know my dream house want my dream car want my dream holidays blah 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 and I'm not going to get that really by working for someone else that's just my personal feelings but then that leaves nobody responsible but me to go and smash my goals so that is something I need to massively do I need to just Put my work head on and go and smash it. Like I'm gonna smash the marketing for you glow, blah blah blah, and just see how I can get on. Smash my like TikTok, smash my YouTube, be as consistent as I can. I just wanna all around just like try as hard as I can, like try harder than I ever have before and just see how far I can get. It's kind of nice not being like it's nice being like being off. Like I've done a little bit of work from home, but like it's nice being not at work to realize like what my life could be like like i haven't felt like it a lot of the time so like it's a hard i haven't been able to try like as much as i would because i haven't felt well but i would you know i've like this is the life like i can have my breakfast when i want to have my lunch when i want i can you know get up and film i can do this and go to the gym in the morning blah 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 whereas obviously like when you're in an office environment you can't do that so so I'm going to go in, I haven't got much left so I might have to go half this and half my Morphe but I usually spray my face with this to let everything for, to sink in and then soap brows. <laughs> Come on. No. I'm going to spray that on my soap. Hairs soap. Because I usually do my makeup over there at my, in my drawer but this is the best lighting that I could get. I mean, it's probably not great, but. Nice little green tea here. Ignore the sticker, Jody dropped me off a little isolation package, bless her. So, and this was in it, this little cute mug. So, oh, oh no. And I need to actually start my brows. Like, I gave up with them ages ago. Like, I used to get brow lamination, but I haven't for absolutely ages. So, this makes them somewhat look a bit like they're there, but I need to get them laminated regularly again. I don't draw them in because I just don't think it looks nice on me now. Like, although my brows aren't very thick, I feel like I do suit the, you know, more natural brow life. Um, 
I got a new watch strap, guys. I got it for Christmas. It was in my what I got for Christmas video. How nice does it look? Like, it doesn't look like an Apple watch. Like, I feel like it looks like proper expensive, which is the vibe. Another goal while we've been talking about goals. Another massive goal, which is, like, we kind of don't have a choice, but, like, we want to um, get into property. We're going to buy our first property this year, but not necessarily our dream property to live in, a property to do up, sell, move in, you know, kind of do that. Maybe... <coughs> Once we've got <coughs> um, one property under our belt, then maybe go and get like an interest only mortgage, do have like a rental and like just build our way up the property ladder. I feel like that's one of Dan's absolute dreams and also I'm completely on board for that. I'm just going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and just put this in my crease. I used to wear so much eyeshadow, like I used to collect eyeshadow palettes, like I had all like the Jeffree Star ones, I had all the Morphe ones, I had all like, um, what were they called? But I used to watch like Jaclyn Hill and Shan Exo and they used to say about all their like Shani Grimmond and I'd be like, wow. And I used to like copy all their things, like I had like all like the, um, what were they called? I used to Beverly Hills palettes and like now I'm like, why? Like, what did you I mean I used to sit there practicing with all this glitter and I'm like what have you done like you've not done anything with that meal like, what it's not a waste of time I suppose because I could still do it if I wanted to but when I did beauty at college and they had to like give you like free looks and I like did this like a festival one on one one and like it was all right but like I can't say I'd ever like want to do makeup on somebody do you know what I mean and I feel like you can never do makeup on people as well as you do it on yourself and I know a lot of people, like, even for my wedding, like, I will not be getting my makeup done, I don't think. I'm just going to dub a little bit of foundation on there to, like, thicken on them. Um, I've had my nan go and get some shopping for me, so I'm waiting for that. Oh, I hate that when that happens. It's saying, um, temperature low. Give me one sec. Um, brows are done. Got a bit of, um, makeup on there. And then I'm just going to run over my cheeks and my ears and stuff with the bronzer i hate this little piece of hair but anyway what's next for the life update so moving house 100 percent. my dad wants to sell the house we're living in he's currently living in birmingham so um we're living in his house and obviously when he sells this house we've got to go so we're going to be doing that um and then what else are we doing one, I'm thinking about we're gonna we want a new puppy for Rory. We want a little best friend so they can grow up together, um, expand the the poo family. Um, and we're thinking of a multi poo. I absolutely love multi poos. They're beautiful, and you'll probably see on my vision board there's a little puppy on there. Um, so yeah, getting on the property ladder is a massive one for us. Like, I want to really tick off goals this year. Like, I really want to get into manifesting. I want to get into like meditation and like just know my goals, know my action. Because I've always known like I have like certain goals, but I've never really put the action in place and known how to fully get there. But this is different now. Like, this is the year we're gonna smash the goals. Um, I really want to. Um, I would like to. Also, this is like a really little fear. Well, it's not a little fear to me, but it'd be really little to someone else. Like, one of my massive goals is to, like, beat my plane fear. Like, I have been on holiday and I have been on the plane, but, like, I don't really speak about this much, but I'm an emotional wreck. Like, I'm terrified of the, the, the aeroplane. And it's got worse as I've got older. Like, you wouldn't think so. Like, I've literally been the other side of the world. I've been to Mal the Maldives. I've been to New York. I've been to Dubai. I've been to Mexico three times. But... I'm terrified of the plane like I absolutely hate it like and it's got so much worse as I've got older because as I've got older I've got I do suffer with a bit of like health anxiety too um so that just does not help at all so I always cut my eyelashes and they go really nice actually I need to I've got a lash lift and tint kit which I'm going to try in the vlog um but it's literally all gone but I use the Maybelline Lash Sensational mascara like, this is one of my favorites it's so dry though i need a new one i cannot wait for isolation to be over so i can go to boots and just spend some money get like my essentials back and then and i know i could order it online but there's something different about going to get it there and then it's just nice i need a new fake tan let me know your favorite fake tans or like your holy grail makeup um 
things please and I'm so excited for isolation to enter me and Dan can get to the gym we've got a new year's resolution as waking up at five every morning and go to the gym five days a week at least but then I'm thinking to get myself into the habit I might try and go seven but like on the two days even one just go for a walk and then on like the Sunday maybe even go for like a sauna steam room swim that sort of vibe um so that's the vibe for me this is literally the second time I put makeup on in weeks like literally since Christmas day um because obviously we've been we went to Wales for a little holiday we had to come back because Dan was feeling really ill I was feeling really ill and obviously it was Covid so that's mad Got any like podcast you like to listen to I'd really like to start listening to like more motivational podcasts and reading is another big thing oh yeah playing fear let me skip back to chapter two minutes so playing for you i really want to go on the british airways like scared course like the baby course um because it's genuinely but i think it comes from a fear of dying more than anything a bit morbid but i am really scared of dying i know i can't prevent it so i don't really know why but it's just intriguing in my brain that i'm scared and i think that's where a lot of my like health anxiety and like things like that come from i worry about dying like young and things like that whatever um that's something i just can't try and keep and ignore and not talk about but that's something i need to go and sort really i did try hypnotherapy for it but oh, oh, i just didn't really work out i need to retry with somebody else i think i need like i remember like my dad was telling me um about this person that he would like not put he would like put people under like he was like a therapist and he literally like would make you like lift your finger and you'd like you weren't doing it like it was like he'd really tapped into the subconscious and I remember one time I'd, when I went to the hypnotherapy the one time I really did go like I was I felt myself gone like I'd stopped holding on to the finger like no it's not working um and that was a bit mad like I like when I was on the plane a few weeks later I was still freaking crying like a baby but um so it didn't really okay sorry if the um camera died sorry if what sorry the camera died um look at this cup this lovely girl sent it me and she said like sent it me to match my brand and i'm literally obsessed with it i cannot i'll put it on screen who it's from but it's literally incredible i was like oh my god thank you um so done mascara i mean i usually do two layers but there is not enough to get that out of there so i'm gonna go on to lips and i usually put a brown or white in my i forgot what it's called the other day i thought it was a tight line it's a waterline so i'm gonna put that in my waterline just a bit of i feel like it adds a bit of like something but see how that just adds like a bit of something and then i'm gonna curl my eyelashes again in a minute but let's go on to lips and then read i really want to read more i want to be out i'm gonna try and give myself a goal i'm gonna try and receive myself a goal of like 10 pages a night bought the book the power of now this one oh, i'm on page 26 will it do it again if i hang on oh. <coughs> this one that's the book i bought so i'm gonna try and um read like at least 10 pages a night of that and um, because that's a book i've always wanted to read and just really get into the habit of like when I've got time don't sit there like you know doing rubbish on your phone actually like invest a bit of time in myself like journaling scripting things like that just try and be a bit more like you know like I'm never going to remember the time I sat and scrolled on TikTok so I need to just remember that this is I've gone for a bit of a darker lip liner recently is the Rimmel lip liner in cappuccino 705 so I'm going to do that I cannot talk while doing this, I'm so sorry. I do overline them a little bit as well, disclaimer. But I do, you'll probably notice it, but look, my lips have migrated bad from when I had filler. So I need to, I don't want to get them dissolved though because I'm scared because I'm scared of the pain. But I might have to because it is a problem. It's like, it's not going, it needs like serious massaging and pulling out. Okay. So I make like a dark rim and then I love the number 725 by, is it baby, it's Maybelline? Yeah. Maybe it's Maybelline. And I just... It's run out, that's why I'm putting it on like a idiot. Oh, 
And then I don't like there to be too much of a dark ring against my lips, but th so this is like pretty natural colour. And then my baby, this is the colour You Make Moves. This is the nude gloss. And this is my tester, so it doesn't actually look like this. It's got like a really nice logo on and everything, but and it smells like marshmallow and it's literally edible. So I just put that on, it's got like a really nice pigment, it's so smooth. It just adds such a nice shine. How nice is that? And then I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes and then we're pretty much done guys. Know what your new year's resolutions are i don't i've got my goals like my 10 goals here i said i wanted a car eat healthy there's some i can't actually say and also an, a big one as well for me was like um i saw if anyone follows the mess i think it's the Mesquia twins i love them and they were saying like one of our biggest goals is to like just deepen the connections we do have with people and like just remove all toxic people and like that is a, also a big one like I really realised that your time is your time, like you shouldn't have to pretend or like you shouldn't have to give people time if they don't deserve it, like if they're not serving you anything, say goodbye and that's one massive thing I think that is a massive lesson to learn, like there's no time to worry about anybody but yourself and the people you really really care about and like a balance like stop worrying about I feel like so many people are starting businesses and like doing things they've always wanted to do and I think it's so important because why should you literally why should you spend I don't want to look back and say I spent all my life working in an office that I didn't really want to god wow like I want to look back and think god yeah I smashed my goals I did exactly what I wanted to do I tried my hardest like I want to be proud of like the person I've been in my life so I think that's a massive goal of mine um see how look how much longer the eyelashes are I will put some earrings on but I probably won't move out of my UD not gonna lie because why would I I'm literally stuck in the house I've been using my L'Oreal steam pod that my mum bought me and it's amazing like this I haven't straightened my hair for like three days and I know this isn't dead straight but it's a lot smoother usually my hair would be so frizzy I've been sleeping with it in a bun still so that's mad to me so I think it really does work I'll probably when I next do a little update because I don't usually do these videos so let me know if you enjoyed it so if you do want to go and support you glow and um, the glosses are incredible this is You Make Moves, and then we have You Are Mine, that's like a really nice pinky one. We've got a chocolate one called You Are Powerful, we've got a beautiful clear gloss called You Clearly Glow, and then we actually have like a, a bit of a limited edition one called You Are Magic, which is unreal. Um, and that's actually on sale at the minute, guys. There isn't money left because people have been absolutely loving them, um, which is amazing. So yeah, so... Do I have any more goals? My camera keeps saying it's too hot. Don't be rude, it's actually zero degrees outside. Um, so yeah, big things are happening this year, guys. So get excited, I can't wait to take you on the journey. I wanna do, my mission is to do weekly vlogs and then a video in between. So let me know if you're happy with that because you guys seem to really like the weekly vlogs. And yeah, this is my everyday makeup routine. It, I mean, it's took me longer because I've been chatting, usually it takes me 10 minutes, but, um, and I don't usually wear foundation because I don't usually care about my spots, but if I want my extra coverage, you know what to do, just put a bit, you don't need a heavy foundation to cover your acne, like that is not, because I just like a natural glowy, I don't want people to look at me and think, God, she's got a lot of makeup on. I don't care if there's a couple of bumps poking through, I just like to look fresh. So that's the goal. Um, and yeah, let me know what you want to see from me. Um, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I can't wait to see what we all achieve this year. Bye.